start with a look through the Barnet lineup this evening. Just one change. Bill El Mojny coming in for his B's debut. It will be a 4-2-3-1 this evening. Scott Loach in goal. Number three keeping his place. Jack Connors. Six and skipper James Dunn. Seven, Alexander McQueen. Fifteen, the debutante Bill El Mojny. 16, Harry Taylor. 17, Innie Effiong. 18, Wesley Fongak. 27, Efron Mason Clark. 31, Ben Nugent. And 40, Anthony Wordsworth. We, as we were saying, we do believe it's a 4 2 3 1 with Harry Taylor playing in that number 10 position, Adam. A look at our visitors, the Hatters lineup with just two changes from their win over Bromley at the weekend. Goal for them 1, Ben Hinchcliffe. 2, Sam Minahan. One of those changes. 3, Callum Jennings. 4, Liam Hogan. 6, Lewis Maynard, 8, John Rooney, 9, Richie Bennett, 10, Connor Jennings, 11, the other change, Jordan Williams, 16, Jordan Keane, and 19, Alex Reid. And, and the two managers, Peter Beadle and Jim Gannon, may have to force their hand and look to the bench. These are, these are their options this evening for the Bees. It's goalkeeper, 24, Eamon Azaz, to Dwight Pascal, 14, dropping out of the starting lineup, Mohamedou Fall. 26, Jerome Binn and Williams kept out of the side by Jack Connors. Good performance at the weekend. And 33, the young Cypriot Antonis Vasilou. For Stockport, their goalkeeper is number 21, Josh Barnes. 7, Adam Thomas. 14, Mark Kitchen. 18, Ryan Crowsdale. And 26, Lewis Britton. It's blocked. An advantage here for Stockport County as he looks to get the ball back in the box. Not cleared well enough by Wordsworth. Here's Reed. He fires over the ball already. And a real let off there for Barnett and a real sign of what Stockport can do. Yeah, big chance for the Hatters there. It was nicely worked. It fell quite kindly after Wordsworth didn't quite control the ball on the edge of the box. Come through to Reed, and I'm sure he would have expected to do better there from about 10 yards out. Alex Reed signed in the summer. Now Jack Connors. Wordsworth now into the feet of Taylor to Fongert. He's got to run on the left-hand side in the form of Connors. Left-footed cross. It's in towards Wordsworth, who just doesn't get a clean connection of it, and it goes over the bar for a goal kick. But that will get the home fans on side. It's been a pretty quiet start in terms of the atmosphere in this one. But Barnett trying to get themselves on the front foot. Right idea by Jack Connors, as you say. Anthony Wordsworth doesn't quite make any sort of clear connection. Here comes Jennings. Left hand side he has Williams, he skips past Alexander McQueen with ease, back to Jennings, shot blocked and into the gloves of Scott Lodge. That was all too easy there. Yeah, too easy and again, Stockport just up in the ante a little bit. It's down the sides of Barnet where they've been punished regularly this season. Good cut back to find Jennings but good defending by Ben Nugent and it just takes a sting out of the effort and into Loach's park. In field, Tobala chops on the defender and now it's done and free kick is eventually awarded and taken quickly here's Harry Taylor to Efron Mason Clark advantage played Mason Clark tries to chip it in advantage isn't given back again here's Effie Ong now looking to get away from his man low footed left footed cross delivered he's done now can't quite get it out from under his feet and McQueen's on the right hand side cross in towards Effie Ong just wide in a post some people here in the West Stand fort that was in Good move, that from the Bees. It probably helped that James Dunn slipped a little bit there because I thought he probably would have taken a strike at goal. But out wide to McQueen and a good ball into the box. As you say, just wide of the post from, from Effiong. Taylor. An option. But it strikes Harry Taylor and now Connors can bring the ball forward. And now this is a chance for a counter-attack. Efron mason Clark on the right-hand side. He's got three options in amber and black. Ops to shoot. And it strikes Jennings. Got it in swing up. 35 minutes on the clock. Ball in. Headed away by Dunn at the far post. But straight back out to Williams. Look to get this back in there again. Does so. It's not cleared fully. Wordsworth needs to just hook this long. And he does towards Mason Clark. He's got Minahan all over his back. Does very well. And now Efron Mason Clark has picked out Inny Effiong on this left hand side. He's got Fongo trying to make a run. Will he go alone? Any Effiog beats his man. Left foot is shot. Saved by Hinchcliffe. What, an, what a great counter attack that was. And what a ball from Efron Mason Clark. We criticise his end product sometimes, but that was a fantastic ball to the Stevenage Loney, who did well to get past his two men. Just a finish, letting him down. A good save by Hinchcliffe. Left James Jennings, left footed to Mason Clark, has been 
hassled and the free kick is rightly given. They're trying to take it quickly and they do. Alexander McQueen is alert to it. Right footed crosses in towards Effion. Got to get on the end of it. How has that not got in? In the Effion. Oh, it's, it's just not gone in again. He's got to score, Aaron. He's got to score. What a ball by Alexander McQueen. Barnett trying to take, took the free kick quickly, got it to McQueen, but agonising for the Barnett faithful. Wear that armband. But he is, of course, James Dunn. Former Swindon man. Flicks over the top and Reed is in behind. He's going to beat the offside track and dinks it over the top of Scott Loach. The Barnett defence are furious, but Alex Reed won't mind as he breaks the deadlock for Stockport. His seventh goal of the season. Mosny done all having words with the linesman as they claim it was offside. Mosny's talked his way into the book. Looks on from the replay. Aaron, it was tight, but I thought he timed his run brilliantly and finds a finish again over Scott Loach. It was a good finish from the Stockport man. It's certainly a close call. No VAR, of course, yet in the Vanarama National League. It's a great assist. Flicking it over the top of the head of the Barnet defence and it's a cool finish from Alex Reed. The referee does blow his whistle and the bees go into the break. A goal down. That late opener from Alex Reed. The difference between the two sides. It has been a competitive first half. Barnet have given as good as they've got. But the early season favourites chip themselves ahead through Reed. His seventh goal of the campaign. And the discussions are still going on between Dunn, McQueen and the linesman. And his officials just asking the question. But in this Vanarama National League fixture at the break, this is Barnet FC nil, Stockport County one. Fongak wins the second ball now, and Wordsworth plays it through to Effio. Taylor to Connors, back to Taylor. Needs to get this ball in the box, does. It's towards Mason Clark, but headed away by Jennings. Drops to Wesley Fongak. Trying to get a shot away, but needs an option. Has it in Connors. His left-footed cross is in towards Effion. Here there from Mason Clark at the far post. He scores! The game is level. The Bees are back in it, and that is the perfect start and exactly what Peter Beadle would have wanted. Efron Mason Clark levelling the game here. What all? And our first goal back at the hive with the roar of the Bee Army. What a start to the second half, Aaron. Jack Connors with the ball into the box. It looks like Effion just maybe gets a slight glance on it. Falls to Mason Clark, who does well. Time on his hands. Finds a corner and Barnett are back in this. What a start to the second half. His first goal of the season, the Bees, number 27. And he was left all alone at the far post. Stockport will be questioning, where was the man? Barnett won't care. It's all square. From a personal point of view, he des deserves that goal. He's left all unmarked. It's a that great, far it's post. a fantastic finish, Aaron. He could have easily crumbled under the pressure there. If Young misses the header and Minahan. Six and sevens, whether to come for it or let the keeper get to it. But the ball is now over the top and it's brought down excellently. Here's Connor Jennings, hits the outside of the post. That was all too easy. And Connor, uh, Richie Bennett, sorry, was left in so much room. But. Struck the upright. That's a massive let off for Barnett because they would have been furious to concede a goal. One long ball over the top from the goalkeeper and, and Bennett does the hard part, bears down in goal, but thankfully from a Barnett point of view, strikes a post, but it's a huge let off for Barnett. They fully talk about whether it was a dive or not. Wordsworth, left-footed free kick, is in towards Nugent and Mosny. Nugent gets his head onto it, doesn't quite drop for Effiong and now Stockport looks okay, but there's a slip and any Effiong set away, left-footed shot, saved by Hinchcliffe. And Stockport, since the rain has fallen, starting to see Barnett attack more. Crosses in towards Mojny. It's not quite clear. Mojny's there again. Header. Cleared away. Stockport just needs to get this ball clear. But it's going to come straight back at them again. McQueen's header. Cleared away by Jennings. Connors towards Fungert. Fungert tries to play through Effie but he would have been just offside and now the ball is at the grateful feet of Ben Hinchcliffe. Oh, it's a heavy touch from Hinchcliffe and just gets away with that one. I'd look down. 
take a look at my notes. I completely missed it. But a, but a good chance there from the visitors. Doesn't look to have made the difference. Jim Gannon would have wanted in his third spell the Stockport boss. Oh, that's a heavy tackle from Wordsworth. And the referee has some work to do here. A bit of a handbags. It, it was a heavy challenge. Aaron, it'd be interesting what the ref goes for It's here. a red. Wordsworth is off. And the Bees are down to 10. I didn't think this game looked like it was going to boil over that much, but we have some drama here with the game all square. Ben Nugent remonstrating with the linesman. It would be interesting to see the replay. Wordsworth got to make that long walk. Plays in. Oh it's, oh, it's reckless. It's late. It's not a great challenge at all. Freezing temperatures of North London. McQueen's free kick. Finds a Stockport head. Barnett needs to get this back in whilst they've got men committed forward. Connors with the ball. To the feet of Nugent. First time ball to Fonga. Down the line. As there from Mason Clark. Two men on him. Trying to find some space. Gets a shot away. Strikes Maynard. Falls to Wesley Fonga. Needs support here, does Wesley. Left footed crosses in towards Mosny, who turns that just past the left hand post. Tell you what, for a centre half, we've been saying it all game. He loves a goal, and there's a great chance there for the Tunisian. He just hangs forward after the free kick, and what a chance it was for, to get a debut goal for Bill El Mosny. Decent ball into the box. Maybe, maybe if you're being critical, should he do a bit better? This is where he'll tell you in the post match interview he is a centre half, and he shouldn't be expected to uh, finish that. But that is a. From Mason Clark, will look to pick it up and wins the ball. But Jennings will cross in here low. It's across the face of goal and it just needed a touch from a Stockport man. A real let off there for the Bees. This is where Efron Mason Clark and Wes Fonguk are going to have to play the dirty side of the game, Aaron, and really help their fullbacks because they're going to be in overload with Stockport having the extra man in midfield. Encouragement slips in Jennings to Maynard. That's Keen on his right-hand side, and now it's out to Minahan. Looks to deliver a cross, finds Reed, And now here's Rooney, deflected shot. Goes right wide of the left-hand post of Scott Loach. And here comes a bit of Hatter's pressure, Aaron. It was always going to come. Uh, they seem to ride the wave of a bit of momentum that Barnett seemed to pick up after going down to 10. And they've had a couple of decent chances. in the And stretching the Barnet defence. Kitching now tries to get away from Efron Mason Clark, who scored the Barnet equaliser. Kitching gets a cross in, it's headed goalwards, and it's poked in by Alex Reed. He looks to the linesman and gladly sees that the flag remains down. And Stockport retake the lead here, and it's a second goal for Alex Reed. You can't say that it hasn't been coming in the last five minutes or so, Aaron. It's a well-worked move, as you said. Stockport very comfortable in possession. They get the ball wide, get that ball into the box, and Reed gets onto that flick on and makes no mistake in front of mm. goal. The, it's a good flick on from Richie Bennett, and Reed is there, as every great striker should be, just to poke home and take advantage. And now Barnett have got it all to do. Reed, but... I have to say that I feel like Stockport have handled the game very, very well. Jennings slips through Reed, looking for his hat trick, skips round the Barnet defence, but Loach is there as we've seen so often. That would have been the game, Aaron. It's a big save by Scott Loach. You can sense the frustration amongst the Barnet fans that it's not us on the front foot, but as I say, it's always going to be tough with 10 men. Harry Taylor did very well to drag back his challenge there because if he had. Rooney over this corner, right footed. It's a good delivery. There's shirts being pulled, and Reed is there to try and turn it goal, which right in front of goal. And it's another instinctive save from Scott Loach. 
but yet again it will be another Stockport corner have a look at this the ball just drops to Reed. he's unmarked a couple of yards out but it's straight at Loach it's a chance to plant it obviously without regular set piece take Anthony Wordsworth on the pitch that's a good point you make can we snatch a crucial point two minutes to go Barnet one Stockport County two Connors and McQueen over this. Will they go for goal? Or will they look to chip it in? McQueen steps up. Free kick strikes the wall. From Mason Clark, has got to get a wriggle on to make sure it goes out of play for a corner. But a good chance here to get the ball into the danger zone. Looking on. Making sure nothing happens. Connors delivers. It's deep towards Nugent. But it's headed away and the referee spots a foul. Two over the ball. Connors clips it in towards the far post. Nugent gets his head on it but it's hooked away. And now Barnett really needs to get it back into the box. With the clock ticking down. It's all the way back to Loach. He's just got to get this forward. Does so. Mojny's going to get under it, but doesn't win his header. And now Reed, he can drop to Reed, and Rooney's going to stay on side. Could this be the clinching moment? Rooney to Kitching. Running at McQueen, and there is the final whistle. It's all over here at the Hive. It's been an entertaining game, but disappointment for Peter Beadle's side as they fall to a 2 1 defeat to our visitors from the